we didn't talk at all the first uh, I'd say two two times it happened and um, I definitely went to a darker place because of it and our relationship more than anything went to a darker place because of it you'd cry and I'd be really quite emotionless yeah and then when I was crying you yeah I've done my crying so now I've moved on and, and I'm we doing weren't, this and we, we were never together never in were we <laughs> until that one day when we both were yeah. upset at the same time yeah Dane's very logical so he knew like it wasn't anyone's fault and he knew like what has happened has happened and it was really horrible but we have to carry on and I'm more emotional so I would be like I don't know somewhere I knew it wasn't my fault but I couldn't I couldn't shake it it was just like two two trains going in the same direction but apart there was distance between us I can see how it can really put a strain on a relationship. I think go one way or the other. We saw a therapist at the hospital and I really pushed for my husband to come with me and it was something that I don't think a lot of people are offered. Um, because, you know, for the, for the dads, it's like, it's just as blooming hard. Um, and I don't feel like they get as much attention. So we were always a really sh strong unit. Like we've been friends for years um, and it just pushed us even closer together. I looked over at Elia and she was just like lying in the bed and I saw how sad she was. So very I just, numb. Yeah. yeah, I just kind of had to like say to myself like don't be selfish because both of you are in the same situation. If she sees me just in that state, you know what I mean, she's going to feel the same way. At the time I put a lot of the pressure and the weight of everything on me and it wasn't, you know, I didn't even tell Tom that I felt like I'd failed him, but that was me. That was me putting that on, on us, on, on him. But I wish I had have told him that I felt that way because I know that Tom instantly would have said, no, that's not the case at all. One thing that really helped me was opening up to Jen about it. And it deepened our relationship between us because it was probably the first time that I was really honest about the way I was feeling. I think I'd um, mistaken his um, attempts at being strong for a lack of grief and that was so far away from the truth. And I think it was the third time that we miscarried that we actually started talking. That was the beginning of me being able to piece the fragments of my mind, our relationship, and I think our hope for the future back together somehow.